it's happening it's happening what is going on folks it is k spade the prospect and your eyes do not deceive you the notorious non-baseball fan is bringing you guys not only a baseball video but maybe even a series obviously a series so you know me man I, I gotta give you guys the backstory so brace yourselves i got mlb to show 20 i went straight to diamond dynasty and it didn't take long before i realized wow i am really bad at this game like there's like really good it's slightly above average is average it's slightly below average and it's me i'm really bad at this game and anyone else would say you know this is probably not something that i should even consider taking to youtube but i did the complete opposite i said i'm so bad at this game other people should see just how bad i am at this game so then i decided uh diamond dynasty was probably not where i should display my my trash skills but i should come the road to the show because that translates better you take a player a created player and you try to get this guy to the big leagues and he's not supposed to be great so if i do stupid stuff if i'm bad at fielding great if i'm bad at base running great if i'm swinging at pitches that look like they should hit me great so anyway once i decided i was gonna do this it, it was like what character do i make which way do i approach this and this is how we get the creation of bd murphy now for me to start this story we got to go back to young super hyper can't sit still annoying kid me we got to go back to a small town in georgia called griffin where i was brought up my mom and my entire mom's family is from the mcdonough georgia area first of all shout out to all my georgians if y'all watching this video so my mom would take me and my older sister to her parents house and my grandfather was the biggest atlanta braves fan i have ever encountered in my life and you got to understand growing up in georgia i met a few braves fans but none bigger than my grandfather so he would watch the games on this old tv set that was like in a wooden box it may have even been black and white like it may have been a black and white tv but it gets weirder he would turn the volume all the way down and he would listen to the game being called on the radio and i already told you guys i was super hyper i didn't know how to act you know i would just bust in his room pop out pop out you know i'm ready to talk about whatever and he would shush me and basically kick me out the room and tell me i'm watching the game and even as a kid i would glance at the tv and be like they they losing like in my mind i would just be like it's three zero papa you might as well listen to this an important story i got for you fam your braids are losing and unfortunately my grandfather passed away before the braves got good it seemed like a few years after my grandfather passed was when the braves like the early 90s teams of the braves started to come together and i i don't know in a weird way i kind of felt like if if i got a chance to experience more with my grandfather if he wasn't taken so early maybe i would be a baseball fan today like you guys know i notoriously tell you i'd rather do math than watch baseball baseball is terrible i don't want to watch baseball but uh, my grandfather had such an affinity for the sport and the atlanta braves that even though i didn't really get it like it's still something that clicked in there with me so i also know that my grandfather was crazy about dale murphy he loved the dude like i think he if he could have traded me for Dale, I was out of there, fam, especially considering I couldn't sit my ass still. But this man loved Dale Murphy. So later in life, I, I get a situation where I'm working directly with a guy who's an older gentleman, and he's a huge baseball fan, and he's a huge Braves fan. So we was just talking about baseball one day, and I was like, yo, I got to ask you. Like, my grandfather used to really love Dale Murphy, and I could just go to Google and pull his stats, but asking someone else who saw him play, was Dale Murphy really good or was he just the best that the Braves had? And, you know, I'm trying to understand why my grandfather loved him like he did. And he said, yeah, man, he was really good, you know. So he gave me some stats, told me, you know, he was a back-to-back -back MVP winner and he was a slugger. And then he kind of told me a tidbit that I found funny and it made me connect with him. He was like, the thing about him, man, he would strike out or he would, he would knock the piss out of it, man. He was, he was a swinger. He said, so he struck out a few times, a lot, and some of his strikeouts they were ugly he said man you know and he said in a joking way he said dale would step across the plate to swing at something and i was like yo that is awesome as somebody who never saw the guy play 
now I got this connect. I like Dale Murphy. So anyway, when it's time to create a player, based off the experiences that I got in Diamond Dynasty, where my, what, what do they call it? Like my plate, I don't know what they call it. But fam, I'm swinging at everything. I can't read the pitch. I don't know if it's a ball, if it's a strike, if it's high, if it's low. I'm swinging. I'm up there to swing. I'm swinging, right? Oh, plate discipline. That's what they call it. My plate discipline is terrible. So I go, okay, cool. This is the opportunity for me to create the Black Dale Murphy, which is why his first name is BD. But we're going to take it a step further, too, man, because, you know, it's a double entendre and a triple. Hell, maybe even quadruple entendre because he also hit them big dingers. You feel me? Big dingers for everybody. So anyway, that obviously explains some of it, but it's a little more influence that went into it. Now, my favorite baseball team of all time is the 1992 Braves. You got... Deion Sanders was on that team, Brian Gant, Dave Justice, Terry Pendleton, I think Otis Nixon was still there. The pitching staff was amazing. It was Steve Avery, Tom Glavin, John Smokes, Greg Maddox. All, look, that is probably, in my opinion, as a non-baseball fan, that's the best baseball team in the entire world ever. However, my favorite baseball player is Ken Griffey Jr. I don't know how anybody could have ever seen Ken Griffey Jr. play and he not be your favorite. So that, you know, influenced my position, my jersey number, you know, so it's kind of an influx of just the things that I like about baseball. It's going to be a lot of affinity to the Braves and it's going to be some affinity to Dale Murphy and Ken Griffey Jr. So that's that's how we got here, folks. Now, I'm going to say this and I want to make sure you hear me clear. If you want to find a series on YouTube of a guy who who knows all of the nuances and intricacies of baseball and he's really really good at mlb the show you did not find that guy feel free to continue your search but if you just want to have some fun man if you want to spend some time watching a video that might make you laugh here and there welcome you found him anyway folks let's get into it we are about to go to the showcase game and i don't know if you guys saw during the the little scout watch it didn't go good for your boy i was booming the hell out of balls until i told them to start evaluating and like the first three blew by me hit the <laughs> hit the catches mitt man so let's get into it man i got a lot to prove i'm not gonna choose what team i go to i want to do this thing organically we're here fam bd murphy number 24 the center field the 6 4 2 10. that's my real height too y'all that's my real height 6 4 2 10. we out here we only have 52 overall, and that's great because when I make bad plays, I'm going to blame it on his rating, even though it's going to be me that's goofing it up. Now, I don't have any of the skill stuff on. I don't have the plate coverage indicator on. I'm not good enough for that right now. The hope, and, and I'm doing air quotes, the hope is that I'm going to eventually get better as I continue to play this thing, and I'll turn some of those skill mechanics on, and I'll let this game grow with me. I have put the difficulty on dynamic which is pretty cool because at this point, it'll never even get to rookie. I'm really bad. I want to make sure I drive that home, all right? The coach is over here talking to us, and I don't really know what for because BD don't need no coaching, fam. Just put BD up at the plate and let him do what he do. Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties? I also should have mentioned the fact that I didn't play a few games to get the gist of it and then start the series. So all of this stuff, you're going to see like a tutorial and tip menus popping up because this is literally my first time playing through. And I'm excited. BD is up for his first ever at bat. And we swinging, baby. He's, is he going to get to that? Oh, he out here. Try, he want a deal. He, he, all right. All right. All right. That's cool. So, look, here we are. It's the top of the third. BD Murphy up for his second at bat. He had a fly out in the first. They could have dropped foul. My dude ain't have to try that hard. He, he cut the afterburners on to get to that one. Let's see what he going to throw me. Ugh. Oh, that's it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. BD, that's some good wood. We got good wood on that. It's going to bounce off the wall. We're going to stop here at second, I think. Yes. Oh, my base running is atrocious, too, so prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. BD is on base. Look, hey, we already batting 500. We batting 500 out here, and that's good wood right there. That's good. I'm going to fix that. I don't like the... Um, I don't like the, the one hand. Nah, man, we got to fix that. I don't like that. 
That looked like a Mark McGuire swing or something. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like it. Anyway, where am I? I'm on second. We are up two to one. There's two outs. I can increase my lead. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we got. I feel like stealing to third don't make much. What? Oh. Okay, he tried me. I hope they keep that thing in slow motion like that. Because if they don't, I'm definitely going to be in trouble. I hope every time they try to throw, you, you know, throw. What do you call that? Throw me out? Catch me off the bag? Whatever. I hope every time it slows down. And luckily, man, it feels like they kind of do a lot of hand holding with the base running. That's really good right now because I can't even see the ball. I didn't even know where the ball was at. And I'm trying to listen. I do have the volume coming through my controller. It's telling me some things. Third base coach is telling me when to stay and when to go. But I don't do the best at listening to people. So when I feel like going home, we going home. Hell you talking about? You must don't know. BD Murphy in here, fam. Hit back up the middle. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna slide, but I'm gonna stop. What happened? Let's go. That's a base. Oh, he got. Wait a minute. I thought it was already two outs. I'm I don't even know what's going on right here. Tom, you 0 for 1. You struck out in the first, fam. Put some good wood on the ball, man. Bring your boy home. 2 1. Let's go. And a swing and a miss as he wow. pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. So wow, it's that man struck out twice. Hits, no errors and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Eastern Prospects lead it two to one. Stepping okay, we're, we're in the field. Things get a little. I don't quite understand the mechanics out here yet. Okay. Oh, to the wall. One in track. One in track. I got it. I got it. Stay on it. I can stay on it. I want to stay on it. Where's the ball? Oh, God. This is good. Oh, my goodness. Bam. I couldn't stay on the little baseball. All right. I get it back. I get it back. Okay. So, BD's one for two, man. He's got a double. Two RBIs so far. I've got a base runner on first. It's no outs. This is an ideal situation for BD. We going, y'all. Big dinger. I feel it. I feel it. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Okay. All right. High heat. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to clap for the boy. Yeah. Okay. I see. I like it. I like it. even right now at five aside. And he painted the corner with that one, too. Oh, uh. oh, over the mitt. Let's go. Take that guy to third. No, no, don't. Don't listen to me. Your ass would have been out. Stay right there. Who's up the back? Can we trust this guy? Okay, Rosa. We got you. You 0 for 2. But I'm not going to judge you off the pass. I got you. Ooh. Let me still threw him out. Two outs. All right. So the lineup we so jump ahead. Somebody game. has Murphy evened up the score. I have no idea who did it, but it is a 4-4 game. BD Murphy is up to bat. Oh, BD switch because your boy used to switch when I played in real life when I was eight. Oh, whoa, 96. Whoa. In the minors? This ain't even the minors. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a nice one. That's some good wood. As long as we keep putting good wood on the ball, fam, they're going to be caught. These scouts see me. Y'all see me, right? Y'all see me? They're going to be calling me up in no time. Damn, that catcher tall as shit, right? They got like a 6'8 catcher. I think he missed his calling. He should not be a catcher. I got to try it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the world's worst steal attempt that I've ever seen. I think I, I was a little late getting out the blocks, fam. This tall ass catcher, he see everything. What was I think? First of all, you can help me and get some. Fam, look how late I am. Oh, my God. He was waiting on me. He was just sitting there with the mitt. <laughs> waiting on me all right all right i want to show these scouts what what they getting if they sign bd what you getting is a fighter a warrior bd having a pretty good day though he's three or four at the plate uh, okay a little low all right i got you i got you 
I got you. This dude, he gonna be that guy. He finna try to pitch some balls. Let me see what's coming. Let me see. I'm gonna actually watch this time. I'm gonna try. Go on. Damn. I'm gonna at least see it. Cause I feel like that shit went to the parking lot. Top of the ninth. Tie game. Two outs. Got a run on second. Oh, nah. I'm sitting on that. I'm sitting on that. See, I'm getting better. Plate discipline plus two. I might change my batting stance, too. The stance is cool. Oh, I got. That's not good wood. He's going to throw me out, right? Damn. All right. I'm in the field. Listen. I have made mistakes early in this game. I will not continue to make those same mistakes. I will not. Let's see what we got. Please tell me I got this. Step, get up. Oh, my God. What's happening out here? Fam. Oh, shit. I'm not getting drafted. I'm not getting drafted. I definitely played that wrong. And, hey, no shocker here. But we lost. We lost the game. Uh, I gave up a few. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one error is me. I gave up a few points. Uh, but I feel like it's a lot of good we can take from this performance. BD at the plate was exceptional. And we can work on that field. The fielding is easy. That'll come to us. We got that. As long as we getting good wood on the ball, I'm a little upset that we didn't have any big dingers today. But three or five? We had a double? Two RBIs? Two ribbies? Come on, man. Sign your boy up. So anyway, folks, I am going to stop the video right here. And you guys stay tuned. We'll find out where BD went, if he went anywhere at all, or if he went and got a part-time job. That's all I got for today's video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'm out until next time, folks. Yeah.